Boy, that's some good looking cheese you got there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Boy, Bob, that's some good looking cheese you got there. Yeah, it's wonderful. I feel like, I feel like SpongeBob right now. Sure. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. We're all goofy goobers, yeah. Oh, it's a goofy goober universe. No. You know, sometimes you're the goober and sometimes you're the goofy. Sometimes you get a little spoofy, sometimes you get a little... Sometimes, spoofy. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, what if we made a, like, Detroit-style black film in the modern era, but it was directed by me, so it was actually good? Yeah, for sure. At first scene, I'm driving in on a motorcycle, and then it explodes, you know? Motorcycle explodes, killing me instantly on the motorcycle. Not, not for real, of course. I smash through a window. The window explodes <laughs> as I smash through it, right? Mm-hmm. Then I go into the room, and as my flaming corpse and the motorcycle part in midair, they explode as they apart, right? Breaking my body in half into a smoldering explosion, right? It hits the ground, and wherever it hits, it also explodes, completely obliterating it into ash that explodes everywhere. The motorcycle slams into the bad guy's desk, which also explodes, and that's the tragic opening of how the first agent dies that they sent in, so then they need to send in Black Dynamite. Uh, Black Dynamite? Or whoever the shit, you know, whatever name. Double O Zero. Well, this is a, I mean, if you want, but this is kind of like a, a movie about stupid, you know, Detroit people. Yeah, I know, I was kidding. That doesn't make sense. You know, sometimes I consider myself a genius. Other times, I consider myself a connoisseur of the fine arts. And, you know, rarely do the two mix. And the reason why huh. is because, uh, you know... Have you seen his YouTube channel? Yeah. That's why. Now, you see, I'm a genius here because... Uh, okay. Yeah, mustard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on either side of the bun so that they don't cross until it's smashed together. Yep. Whatever you say, man. You don't cross the streams before it's time. You're right. The flavors might mix prematurely. Yeah, you don't cross the streams before it's slime. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Sure. This avocado is no down? good. I mean, the top's all right, but the underside's questionable. There, you gotta scrape off the underside. You hardly get any flesh off of these avocados from Mexico. That's because they don't water them. It's true. They just act like the rain is their slaves. Each rain droplet is their personal slave. They whip at it with their little tiny whips. They say, Claw! Get in there! Claw! Claw! Get in the soil! Claw! Yeah, pretty much. What are my avocados? God damn it. I won't make big money and pretend I'm extra poor. <sighs> well, the Mexicans up here are actually broke. Yeah. Broke back mountain. Oh. Well, not anymore. I mean, the world's over, so. That's why I said broke back mountain. Yeah. <laughs> sure. You want to put some Italian olives on there? All right, same Italian olive, Italian olive, one seaweed seed bun, one seaweed seed bun. Oh, yeah. Italianize that. Oh, Mama Luigi Mario. Uh, I'm so panicked. I, I cannot find my wedding dress. I mean, wedding <laughs> tuxedo. Uh, why would I wear a wedding dress? That is absurd. I, I... Yeah, that's a little silly. But, you know, Mario, Daisy um, might be into that kind of thing. I don't know. Mario, uh, it's a little, uh... She seems to be tomboy at the wazoo. That's all I'm saying. It's okay, Mario. Luigi makes me wear her wedding dress to and fucks me every <laughs> night. Yes, her, Luigi, uh, whatever. We get the point. Luigi's everywhere. All right, there we go. 
here's where things get crazy. No, but like, uh, I don't think you want any of this. Nah, it's too much garlic. Well, I am so, I'm so deadly allergic to the garlic, you see. Well, it's Halloween. <laughs> don't, don't risk it. <laughs> don't risk your little vampire IT. <laughs> <laughs> I am so deadly allergic. Oh, man, 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 man. Are those mushrooms? I just want to put it on one because it is kind of garlicky. All right. Look at that cheese glistening. Look at that cheese. Oh, my God. It glistens. Look at it. Oh, my God. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus, this knife is coming at my neck. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I don't really it's like that. It's not very sharp, but yeah. It's fun getting poked with a mushroom knife, you know? Mmm, slicey boys. Well, it's too big, so I'll cut it in half. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, like that, yeah. Ooh. So nice. Next slice for the destiny of all mankind. Oh, yes. Slicey boys. Cut the ends off. They're flaking anyways. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking it's really working out. Yeah. You know, I think this relationship is really working out, you know. I'm a knife, you're a cheese. We really work and slide together well. Yep. Until I cut the cheese. It creates a breeze. Ooh, it's a thick slice. Who cares? Delicious. There we go, half moon slice, or three quarter moon. That's uh, pretty much scrumptious list. All right, um, oh, pickles. So many ingredients. Yo, no pickles. Mm hmm. Gonna clean my knife. Oh, you want any mushrooms? They're just the regular variety. I mean. I don't know. Like, ah. You want a little mushy? Sure, give me the moosh. The mooshy rooms. Give me the mooshy rooms. Mooshy mush rooms. Mush, mush, mush. Alright. So, <clears throat> so you're slicing it all like that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Yeah. It sure is. I like the thin sliced. I love karate. I love kicking bubble gum. So you like kicking butts, huh? Do we have any chicken, though? Yeah, we do. Let me show you what I'm going to do with the chicken. You're okay. not going to believe your little eyeballs. Okay. There we go. All right. Is that all the ingredients? Oh, me, oh, my. We're going to throw on our lettuce. Uh, slap them right on there. Jumbo style. Everybody come on now. Put those lettuce leaves on those sandwiches now. You can never get enough of the lettuce. There we go. Mucho lettuce overload. <coughs> All right, that cheese is still on. All right, over here is where the real action is residing, waiting to break loose and have a name. So like we got down here's this big crock pot of chicken that's been marinating in there for a number of days. Smells pretty nice. Uh, it's kind of like, this is actually bone, chicken bone broth with a bunch of herbs and you know, 
need those things. Bone broth. So what you do is you just pick these up, stick them over here, and then you just slice your chunky hunkies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so dreamy. Such a man. Mr. J cutting his chicken. Yeah. Totally. Kind of smells like dog food. I like it. It does kind of smell like dog food. It's because they give dogs a lot of herbs secretly. Yeah. Keep them healthy. So they can be man's best friend. Man, you know, I prefer werewolf. Werewolf's man's best friend. Yeah, you can sound kind of erotic to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm oh. totally, totally heterosexual about this. I'm only into female werewolves. Yes. All right. I'm just going to heat them right up in the oil molder. Mm. And folder and holy soon. Mother and folder into the pan they go, into the pan and out of the fryer. They must fight the evil zombie Nazi dogs. I before doubt. midnight when the witches call the <laughs> final hour. Yeah. Okay. Resident Evil 8. Uh, huh. That's about how stupid they're getting. Yeah. All Resident Evils are now just Halloween <clears throat> spectacles. Remember that. My plot's much better. We start on a train headed out to Oregon during the Victorian era. Yes. Uh, Just yes. You wake up. It's, you know, all the lights are out. Uh, there's nobody on the train suddenly, and zombies are smashing through. Uh, no explanation, because it's fucking Resident Evil. Well, here's what and it is. And it's in first person, and they're trying to eat your flesh, because they don't want well, your, your magical train to complete you're, the you're railroad drive. You're going past an area where there's a uh, one of those concerts. Where there's all the hippie people with the armpit hair and they all turn into zombies. Then they're jumping off the pine trees above the train and like swinging down on top of the train. And you gotta beat them off all the way to the Oregon coast on yeah. the pine trees and stuff. Because yeah. they keep coming in. All those crazy hippie zombies, you know? Yeah, those goddamn hippie zombies again. It's just like before. Worse than we thought. But better, too. I wonder how close I can get to this without burning the audience's face off slash mine. Oh, yeah. It's pretty exciting. So far, so good. Sizzle me timbers. Yep, pretty sizzly. Flip them again when they're brown. Brown them a little more on the other side. I'm so sad that the bodybuilding tournament's not happening. Tragic. Told you it was just, you know, look at my muscles, look at how much diabetes I it's, have. It's just more. Look at my diabetes. 3D projectors. It's just. They're not even. Look at my diabetes, um, and Yeah, they have diabetes. I know. It's retarded. I got diabetes, and I rejected them. I said, no, diabetes, step back. I'm taking control of my blood sugar. <laughs> you said, if you're one of the 100 Americans suffering from diabetes, yep. the solution may be to have an asthma attack from the amount of fat covering your heart and lungs. See... If I was at a restaurant, I'd just have crock pots full of this stuff. Then I'd just be slicing and dicing, have my big griddle, and I'd just be throwing it on there, you know, crazy like, and making all kinds of sandwiches. I'm not gonna <gasps> lie, this kind of looks like fried duck dick. I love it. Okay then. I'm it just looks kidding. Nothing like that. <laughs> looks like what happens when you take saddle tech and turn it into your liver, otherwise known as well for Brimley. It's 
selling. Give them a little, give the audience what they want. Yeah. What do they want? Crappy patties. That's what they want. Well, all right. I guess that does. Oh. Hey, over here. Oh, I can't be magnificent at all moments. Yes, you can. I believe in you. Well, I believe that these are going to be tasty. I, I agree. I don't really think we need to add anything else. Except their, their chicken's kind of hot, so... Yeah, good point, good point. Gonna butterball these bastards. Damn. That's like a Carl's Jr. ad, except that they're not good. And these are good. Look at these. Look at there's the juicy one and the baby one. See, this one's this one's two ninety nine and this one's a dollar ninety nine. Not really. The junior senior deluxe junior senior ju junior patty. Yeah, don't get kinky about it. It's just they're just patties. No. Yep, there you go. Polymer buns out the wazoo. But these are ones, the polymer is sourced from plants that are extra good for you. Bonus health. Okay, and key here is that it's fully hydrogenated soybean oil so that every cell of your body is all fatty. And Esther, I'm going to bite into my secret to being all. Those are yours. You can bite into mine over here. I'll bite into this one for convenience because it's skinny hair. <laughs> oh. oh! My heart! It's too delicious! Angels are weeping down from my brain into my ventricles. Oh! Is that good? Try it. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, it's better than any restaurant patty, if that's a Krabby Patty, then, uh, I want one of them every day. It's oh, probably good. It's so good. Off the charts. It's really good. Those herbs are so good, isn't it? <coughs> also, it's pretty friendly for, you know, soft palates. It's all pretty juicy, sweet. Hydrogenated soybean oil too much for you. When I go in to take a bite, the smell of the herbs hits me so strong it's like overpowering on my nostrils. Ugh. Wow, it's good.